like we built the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't happen. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. This is my set from the bottom of my heart. I got it on me. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. I got it on me. To absolutely nobody. Welcome UBA, back. baby. Welcome back. It's the tailgate. The tailgate is here. Yes. And we got Mr. This guy. Man. This guy. This guy. This guy who needs no introduction. Does that he? is me. And, uh, yeah, no, and I, don't think, I hope not. I mean, I, mean, I hope the UBA would know who I was. Uh, UBA yes. Commissioner Tom Twist. Yes. Um, Mr. Settle Everything. Yeah. That's it. Mr. Mr. Authority. Mr. 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 FJOB. Right, that's what it says on the back of the jersey. It yes. says FJOB. What does that mean? That is the Fat Jesus of Bowling. Fat Jesus of Bowling. I, I, I mean, love the name. I, I love mean, the name. You got it. Right, well, that's, you know. It, it, you come up here in northern New Jersey, we eat a lot of good food, so. That is very true. Okay. I just had a pork roll. Well, yeah, I call it uh, Taylor Hammer. Well, it depends. I mean, you know, Taylor is a, Taylor is a uh, brand. Right. So it's all pork roll, but some of it's Taylor. And and there's different brands, and I can tell you right now, there's other brands that taste just as good as Taylor, so. Uh, that's a whole other Because it's, <laughs> well, Listen, I mean. I'm from, I'm from the South Bronx, so bacon, egg, and cheese all day. All day, on the roll. yeah. But uh, I, I do love the pork roll. Yeah. Yeah, it you, tastes bad. You fry up some cured meat, I'm, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it it's, good. <laughs> it's, it's fried and it's meat. <laughs> and there so, goes the chair. What I have in front of me is the ever so popular top 50 oh, list from Gordon. Yes, yes. So, as we ever so gently hold our breath. As we, as we do. <laughs> uh, I have a sheet here that has two lines of text. It's blank, which means it doesn't matter. Yeah, get that out of here. stuck out here that interested me was uh, you got the Wrecking Crew. Uh, they moved into number 31. They were they were 46 last time. That's UBA OGs. OG, yeah. 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 This guy's been around. I, I, I mean, as you said, the, the, you know, the handicap team, you know, the, 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 when you dominate on a handicap side in some places, that, that, that makes you that much better. It makes it easier for you to, you know, if your, your scratch team pulls a couple games out, yeah. then you're then you're looking really good. You know, yeah. your, your numbers are, are up and, you know, it, but that's you know sometimes that goes away too after a while your handicap disappears if you continue to keep winning and shooting yep. high scores yep. then your handicap goes away so you gotta it's it's sometimes it's a double edge you know Rudy Rudy always says on the show that the handicap teams kind of make everything especially when it comes to these tour stops and and I think this is one of those teams that that kind of exemplify that and and moving up here was definitely because of they they had a big win over Lights Out. Yeah, uh, they won like thirty-five-five or something Max. like that. So, Max. and and the fact that you know you, you could be in a division that's really maybe not as strong either. There's a there was a lot of movement this year, yeah. uh, especially in New York, yeah. Uh, yeah. and in, and in the South with uh, with teams going in different directions based yeah. on where. I, and we and we legitimately really had no choice at some point because you had to tell somebody you got to move. You know, yeah. I, it, we had to make adjustments on the fly. Everything happened last second. Look what happened and, to Bufu. They all of a sudden got good. Yeah, it, you sure? No, uh, well, oh. no. I'm surprised. Because you don't really talk, you don't speak well good. about Bufu. Are, are no, they no. on the list? No, they're, they're not. No, no, they're not okay. on the list, but they're, they're right, so we don't have top. to worry about that. They're in their top branch. <laughs> after that, that was it. <laughs> they're, they're, let me see. they're not even on that sheet. No, they're not. Uh, they're on the, they're on the far, uh, far They're not right even sheet. on this. They're not even on that sheet. <laughs> Bufu got work to do, it seems. Yeah. They yeah. had their chance. Yeah. They did have their chance, I think, was against Spartanburg. Yeah, Savages. Uh, Savages, and that didn't happen. Yeah. Um... Another squad that's on this list that made it was uh, Trainwreck. Trainwreck from uh, New Jersey Shore. Sure, sure, yep. And they sure did take 40 from Powerhouse. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's definitely a, what happened. And uh, was. as we were looking before, Powerhouse uh, takes a dive off the list after you get whacked yeah, with a 40 bird. They were in the top 20. And Yep. See you later. They put on their swimming caps and took the dive. I don't care Absolutely. where you. I don't care where you're going from here, but you shouldn't be on that list anymore. No, no, no. no. Forty piece. That that speaks volumes. But they were in 48. Now they're not 29. So it's yeah. like uh, Gordon gave them some respect for that 40 piece. So. Well, they had they had a former uh, heavyweight. They they've uh, been active. Who's that? Will Harris, right? Yeah, Will Harris. Will Harris yeah. Uh, they they've been very active. So you can't you know. They're, they're no, you don't, you don't discredit that. But, so I, but they're coming in strong. Yeah, I am, am going to say, you know, I, I I watch a lot of what you guys are doing, and I listen, and I, and I see some lists and stuff like that. And I see that you do a lot of that where you take, I mean, there's champions and stuff like that and guys from teams and, you you know, tag team championships. And, and sometimes that's a, 
a determining factor in how you how you yeah, place we, some teams on here. We don't make because, these lists. Oh, this, I'm, is, I'm, this is purely uh, Gordon. We Gordon. Just, we just reiterated. We're just a messenger. And sometimes, all right, well, and we don't time, agree with we don't it half the time. time. Sometimes, Actually, half the sometimes time. that explains itself in itself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um, but again, as, as you know, you see a couple of these teams get in there, and, yeah. and it says, "Oh, because they had the champ," and it's like, "Oh, I mean, you know, one person doesn't make the team." Right. Uh, I know you, you say that all the time when I talk about one person. Yeah. One especially, team. especially in UBA, man, because you gotta you gotta really put an effort out every week. And it's, it's yeah. just, there's no uh, there's no easy wins. Well, there's not always easy wins, but sometimes there is easy wins. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's um, the look at some of the divisions. Especially when you're cheating. Yeah, we oh. cheated like um, Arsenal. Oh, Ars oh, oh. Arsenal's a bunch of cheaters. <laughs> it's it's really getting it's getting smoky in here. Already. Getting, yeah. really See that? Now they're, now they're not paying attention. Not Do I need to well, duck? He's paying attention. He's just pretending yeah. like he's not listening. Yeah. You know. Like, I'm just gonna start <laughs> ducking because I think shots yeah. are being fired. Yeah. No, no, so no, I'm just about. ducking. <laughs> I no, do want to see that match, though. We're, 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 we're in the good fun. section of Majestic. You're good. I, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Actually, I, I have the low end. I, I, don't, I don't carry in the low end. I carry in the high you gotta end. You're going to carry in the high end. end. I got to carry in the high end. Uh, another squad here that, that uh, kind of surprised me to make it up this high was Philly Horseman. Um, what? Philly Horseman is at number 26 now. They were 40th. But they, they're now in first place in their division. So How did that happen? That, we Who you're bowling against? Yep. You can only well, who's in front of you, and that's it. You know, just we're you know we're like you said, we're in the same position. Yeah. Only actually, bowling who's in front of us. You, you guys right now are at uh, 32. I wasn't talking about you guys, but you guys are at 32. So. We are at 32. Um, I don't know. Uh, and honestly, like, I, I, well, I've been in this division, so I see the the difference. Like, I yeah. think this is one of the second probably the second second hardest division, hardest division the UBA. Like team wise, it's, you know, you got everybody shooting. You got shooters. Yeah. Here. You yeah, know, we so took another 30 today. Exactly. So, oh, really? Again, yep, 30-10. 30-10 again against the Dream Team today. It was it was, uh, I it was it. tough. A bunch of different places, it was tough. Um, I definitely called it. So, so after this one, they're going to move up a couple of spots and, as well. And as we said before, you talk about handicap versus scratch. Our scratch pair got swept. Wow. That's it, 30-10. So our handicap yeah. pairs did the work for us. Yeah. And, and that's a big win. to talk about for the next show. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Definitely. So, uh, 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 one team that here that uh, so they I'm were off the list, they made work. their way back onto the list, is Pocket Kings. Okay. So uh, that's uh, Mark Colinari and Skylar Parrish and them. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're strong team. They, they, they like to they, talk. They they, they they well. They they're, talk, in the, they they're in the playoff picture now. I think, yeah. Legitimately. That division is definitely a crazy division, though. Well, I think I think this definitely comes off of the heels of the, their win against Exit yeah. Wounds. Where yeah. Exit Wounds is finally starting to show something. Right. So taking a win over Exit Wounds now, you know, kind of, they almost swap places. Yeah, exactly. you want to you want to talk about tough divisions. I mean, that division's loaded. You know, it really is. It's you know, yeah. you be fair. It's the New Jersey Northwest is is, you know, got a ton we, we of it's ton arguably, of talent. I mean, it's, it's arguably the hardest division. In the yeah, game. I I I don't. That's, that's I, a gauntlet. I'd have to really look at the South and stuff like that. But as far as the North is concerned, yeah. I, you know that's a tough, that's a north. tough division. I'm from the north, and when it comes down to it, we always beat the south. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so speak. I think the hardest shots are up here. So if you can bowl here, <laughs> you can bowl, you can beat the south. Uh, spe <laughs> speaking of the south, uh, there's one team here from the south that that was in the top three, and that was High Octane, a team that we didn't really know much about until we saw them at Battle Bowl. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mega at Mega Bowl in Virginia. Bowl. Yeah, he's anxious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I've seen a lot of them over the last couple of years. Right. Like you said, Mega Bowl, Battle Bowl, they always show. They yeah. show at everything. They always have multiple teams. Uh, no matter where they go, to, they go to uh, on Holies, they go to North on Holies, they go to South on Holies. They don't care. They, they go to Mega Bowl. Right. They travel. Yeah. That team travels all over the place. That's and, why and we appreciate you guys. I try not to bash you guys. They, yeah, no, they, they didn't show up. Nice to that. They, they didn't show up at their last match though, and they were they were the number three team. They dropped all the way down to number fourteen. Wow. So they took a big hit That's there. a big dive. She started off. Are we, are we, are you, number 10 team. You know, we ought to run through the top 10. I mean, it's Spartanburg Savages. I mean, it's, they've, they've, they've been hanging around that top 10. They were number they, one. They, they were, were number the one. number one team. Right. And, I, and, I, and I, again, I love the Savages. Again, 
We love Casey Parnell. We love Casey Parnell. Another video came out. <laughs> right? But I, I didn't agree with it. At first. I did not agree with the Savages being one because I just didn't think they did enough. Right. As opposed to what the Hitmen did. Right. Oh, um, God. Right. I know, I know, again, I know, a divisional. My team. Yeah. You know, it's a divisional thing. Again. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, you know, I, it's, it's, it's hard because you, you look at, you know, they can be in a good division or not be in a good division. But yeah. if they're leading their division, and again, as we said, man, it's, it means something, right? You can only beat who's in front of you. Exactly. So. They are still in that division. They, they're up by like 40. One, if I'm not mistaken. Right. But I believe. Right. Did you say? I believe points, you heard right? you say they had the highest lead of anybody in, in no, the UBA, yeah, right? Yeah, one yeah, point. Not yeah. a, I don't think they. Do not no more now. Okay. They, I think they took civil loss. Yeah. I'm Number nine. Number nine. Class X. Uh, right. Right from here. Yeah. Wow. Um, I believe they took a loss today, from what we were getting. Yeah. Uh, but they are here. Number nine. It was a huge matchup against the uh, too. They stayed where they were, uh, but they lost to the Latino All Stars, which. Uh, there's no team to sneeze at. I know they're they might probably somewhere on this list also. Yeah, um, no, actually they're yeah. not they're not ranked top ten though. No, they, yeah, no. no, they're not top ten. But no, again, no. they're they're somewhere on this list and it's yeah. it's deserve it. I mean, as again, there's a lot of really good teams in this division and, and uh, we have our team has these next teams, there's teams at the top here that we're gonna see that are coming up on and, and I think uh, they're gonna take a little flip flop here, class acts with another team in their division next Next uh, top fifty. If I was to, uh, I think so. If yeah. I was to and take I, a guess at what's going to happen has. here, is, exactly. Uh, I, I think we'll see them drop a little bit, and we, I think we, we'll we see have, us. What did they lose? Do you know what they lost by? Class X? Yeah. No, I don't. don't I haven't seen I'll any of the sheets yet. Yeah. I, I, I they know said it was close. So. It, was, it, it was a one point difference in the standings between yeah. Class X and Arsenal. Yeah. Right. Yeah, um, but the. Uh, well, you got another it's 40 burger coming at you from uh, yeah, the top, yeah, from, the, from the first place team here. So. We would have done it what happened was, but there wasn't enough rejects to go. Uh, uh, yeah, they all they they scattered kind of quickly. You don't know if it counts or not. <laughs> they didn't show up. Yeah, that was uh, a. <laughs> yeah. Number eight in the UBA. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Another South team. Another yep. South team. They moved up a bunch of spots. They were 15. They're yep. now at eight. They got so. a seriously good record here. I mean, yeah. you know, they oh, were, yeah. it says was 15. They moved up. Their first place. Nice. Top eight. Uh, a pretty. I mean, you're winning 30 percent of your mat of your points here. It's a pretty good yeah. number. You're doing you know? pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Doing pretty good. They're winning. They're winning. They're, they're averaging at least over 30. I think it's, maybe 30 points or so per win. I, you know, as we said, we, we don't see teams in the South, and we don't see teams in other divisions that make moves we want to and bring see people a, in. You know, from the other places. Yeah. It, they could have made a. You know, made some really good moves that that made their team that much better. So yeah. That's yep. where we're at. So. Yep. Can I agree more? To the, to the number seven team. Number seven UK. team, AC Express. AC Express. AC Express, Williams. man, man. It's, it's AC the Express good, is my, 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 my favorite term is the good and bad. The yin and yang team that I like. Really? And I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> as we're looking at, we're, yeah, we're looking at uh, numbers here, you know, 303 and 97. That's, that's a pretty good record. Pretty good record. They're, they're, no, they're, they're, they're pretty they're, dominant they're in their division. But also, not, it seems to be like a whole, especially after they just forty piece uh, bulletproof. They forty piece bulletproof in a position and round. knocked them right yeah. off. So and right that, off. in a position round, I mean, yeah, yeah, the forty you, piece in the position round, which tells me that you have now established dominance, right? Yes. In that's, that division, that is, yeah, yeah. sets it up. And, yeah. I, and, and I'll say it now. I think you can call that division. I think AC Express is going to win that out. Well, right then, I think they're now they're in the lead. Yeah, now, the most. I mean, that looks a, that looks like a pretty good dominant number. We not knowing yeah. anybody else's number. That's a pretty good dominant yeah. number there. So yeah. No. To the number six team. Uh, Royal Flush. That's my squad. I like that. I Royal like those guys. Flush. Out of Long Island. Royal Flame Flush. Spider yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That, All right. That's not a bad squad. That's not a bad squad. No. They, uh, yeah, I, I, from what I know about those guys, they've got some pretty high quality bowlers. They, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're the other side of it. They've, they've got the scratch guys to yep. really. Yeah. You know, run down with these these big teams at the top. So yeah. I know they they do have a couple of handicapped uh, players as well. But again, like I, that that last tour stop that they had, you know, I think BC Crew, you know, didn't show up. I don't know if they had their buy. Right. Yeah. But, I don't you know, Royal Flush right now. Like I said, the last tour stop they averaged 243 as a team. Yeah. Well, that's right. right. That's that's right. That's and that's your big numbers. That's that's you're getting up into the you know as we move up the list here. You're getting up into that uh, that outrage Garden Foundation, uh, Arsenal. These these teams are big teams. They're big numbers all the time. Yeah. You know, you, it, it's sometimes you can match up your scratch team up against a handicap team, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah. If the if the scratch bowlers are bowling good enough, then and, and it's 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 set up from the last 
five, six, seven years of the yeah, UBA exactly. of teams that just put out enough scratch bowlers that it didn't really matter the handicap that you had. You couldn't match up against it. So. Well, DGF, uh, they seem to always bring out the scratch bowlers, no matter what. You know, I, well, we'll get to them, but I, I you know, I, I have a whole, I have something to say about them. Too. I'd say this, the last nothing thing bad, about No, nothing Flush. bad. Actually, something really good about saying that, to be honest. The last thing with Royal Flush, I, I think that they were a team that maybe other squads had overlooked because uh, BC Crew had a lot of shine in the Long Island division. It's also their division. No, oh, right. BC Crew has all the shine in the division. I think they're a little overlooked. But I think that that's a team that can seriously make a run at the Wilder Cup. I'll put oh, it that way. And again, BC Crew was that team before anybody else was that team. Right. So, you know, and, and now they're starting to, teams are starting to figure out how to catch up to them and yep. figure out how to beat them. So, you know, you, nothing you, get, you can't take anything away from them. It's just that they're not winning. You know, right. When you're just not winning, it's not winning. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can really do about it. No. Nope. Except for changes. To the number right. five yeah. team. Go. To the UBA. Another South. Go. Another Go. South team. Go. Go. Another, this, I mean, this goes back to um, some of the teams you talked about before, like High Octane. Yep. They they are big at every event, no matter yep. what event you're at. If there if there's ability for them to get there, they yeah, show. They get there. They do. They have two scratch teams. They get two handicap teams. Everywhere you go, they'll they'll multiple teams in multiple events, multiple singles bowlers. Yeah, their name is everywhere, and and yeah. it's. It, it, and sometimes it's, it's and, you know when you, you when you're out champion. in public and, and you have the world champion. Right. <laughs> yeah. When you when you're out in the public like that, it's it's yeah. everybody sees it. Everybody knows it. It's. You know, and again, like you strong. said, the world champ, you know, and, and everybody. They dropped them out. It wasn't that they had well, that they lost, moment. right? Well, that, and that's that, as Just we said, buy. which which makes some of these other teams that much more dominant, knowing that there's somebody that could be behind them, catch yeah. 40 points, and still not catch it. You know, so, like that's yeah. exactly. if, if it's all that close where you can catch a 40 point and and be in first place, you know, then it's then it's tight, you know, and you don't you know, your divisions are are, are, are somewhat and, equal. And you, and you make a good point, and that brings me to the next team. Is like there's a team that can put up a 40 piece, and you still can't catch them, and that kind of describes this number four team in the UBA is right now. Impact. Impact. Uh, out of the DMV. And team is serious. But they're in the DMV North, and you know the, the team out of the DMV that's North That's another division that I consider probably one top, of the, one top, of the best top divisions top as well. Yeah, it's top three, top four yeah. of hardest divisions. The, the, it, it, I mean, if you if you look at it, one of the things you notice is, is that their top end might be better than some of the Uh, it's kryptonite, kryptonite in that division. Yeah, yeah. And that's there. yeah. They, that's usually they, the way it is. Like. Yeah. Yep. And, and and again, that was another thing where you separated based on on area, and they had when you separated the DMV out. Yeah. Somebody, you know, people were like, well, it's it's based on the way it goes. You, know, you got to only can only bowl the teams in your division. And I'm actually hoping for a couple more uh, separations. Yeah. Later on, because UBA is still growing. We got to see. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're, I wanted yep. to see some of the changes nice, that made. Nice, nice like yeah. expansion, expansion in that uh, area. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's a big area. There's a lot of bowlers down there, and, and yeah. they. It, that would be great. It'd be great to see a little bit more expansion, like you said, and be able to separate some of these teams that are always fighting against each other. Yeah. So, so from that to another team where they were kind of another original team that kind of expanded out as well. A lot of teams, a lot of people went there and kind of made their way out. Yeah. The Garden Foundation. As I said before, I, I, I have an, I don't want to say I have an opinion, but I, I'd like to say something about that team. Is one thing that you notice about them is that when they bowl their matches, when they bowl their tour stops, when they bowl in the championships, when they bowl, no matter where they're bowling, you're going to see the same 11 people. Yeah. They have a great team. They have a full team. They have a lot of good bowlers on that team. But when you watch, and watching, I, I'm always looking at scores. I'm always looking at things. I see the same 10, 11, 12 names going across the whole year. Yep. And when they get to the to the to the playoffs at the end of the year, they don't change it. They don't change it. They may change one guy, two guys, maybe a guy's not available, whatever. Yeah. But you're you're seeing 
it's not always their big names that you're going to see out there. Yeah. You, they, of course, they have them, and they 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 were one. They were the first team, or maybe the second team after BC Crew, but they were they were in the the, the, the recent dominance of putting together a big group of bowlers. But they didn't. They didn't. They didn't take all of those bowlers and put them out there all the time. No. Yeah. They don't always see Alex Cavaniero. Yeah. You don't always see. Um, uh, I'm throwing names out. I'm drawing complete blanks here. Alex Cavanaugh is good enough. Yeah, no, I mean, but, <laughs> but again, it's, it's a guy. But he's another guy that I mean, he's on that team. But you don't always see. You don't always see him. You don't right, see you see. I mean, the guys that you're seeing, you're seeing Hozier went to the team this year. You see yep. him a lot. You see Brian. Let me tell you, I am a fan of him. I I, I never met him before, but I, I watched him bowl. And I think did he bowl 300 or he, he shot went to 299 that day. And yeah. I think. I, and I think I told you that he, he reminds he my, reminds me kind of a, a, a Walter Ray Williams and Pete Weber. You like, do together. well. Like, I've, that's Walter Ray Weber. I've done a lot of bowling with Jim Hozier. Yeah. And he is one of those people that when he gets locked in, he's you're done. Not, yeah. He's, I mean, yeah. If he's he gets off. locked in on a line yeah. with a ball, you're done. Yeah. I don't care where you're bowling. I don't care what house you're in. I don't care what's out there. Be a house house shot, a, a sports shot. Any shot that's out there, if he finds yeah. the right ball and he finds the right line, I bowled nationals with him. Oh, He's man. bowled. That wasn't a fun. Uh, nah, sometimes. <laughs> um, but he, he. But again, you see, Brian Spencer's always there. Yeah. Manny yes. Gonzalez is always there. Yes. Um, exactly. uh, Al Tory Hooper bowls on our team constantly. Not a name yes. you're going to hear all the time. No. But that's a guy who's always bowling. Yeah. yeah. It's it's. They bring out. They bring out the bowlers that they think are the ones that are going to win, and they're always there. And they're, always and they're, there. And they're usually right about that. Right. So <laughs> they, right ha about that. they haven't been wrong this season. Huh? No. So I, I mean, they're, they're they, up 59 points right now. I know division, they didn't and, start out that great, yeah. but no, maybe but they just. No, they're, they're in a circle. They've they've gone, it it took them a while to get run. themselves into a good yeah, spot, but now they've quite a run, and, and they just beat. They got. They, they, they just beat Murder Inc. Yeah, they got they got their stride. Again, once they're in there, once they're in their stride, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, from from this team in their stride to another team that's definitely in their stride, that's number two. Outrage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the defending two-time champions? Yeah. 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 Uh, so team. yeah, what do you say? And, and not only that, but they added from number three to number two, they added Race Marsh. Yeah. Yep. So, that was a big pickup. That was a huge pickup. I mean, how do you... Yeah. It, there's the name. The names on that team are just... And, and again, this is the Garden Foundation again. The same yeah. thing. When you watch this team, no matter where they bowl, no matter how they, whatever they put teams in, right. you see Pat McGainey, you see Rich Jerome, yeah. you see Brian Bennett, yeah. you see Samantha Shaden, yeah. you see, you know, all, all the same names are everywhere. everywhere. Whether they're bowling scratch, they have, handicap, they have really big events, it doesn't. About, like, yeah, Pat McGainey's been phenomenal. It, like, it's, he's his, having a great year. His, I mean, to be I, I, I've been friends with Pat for a long time. Hugh, as I like to call him, I just kill yeah. Hugh all the time because I think it's funny. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, he's had, he's, but he the man's a, the guy's a legend. I mean, right he now. just he, he hits another guy. You talk about hits everything. Yeah, he'll That's hit every like, shot with whatever. And if he gets locked in with the ball he's got, it's over. So, you guys aren't gonna catch him. I've seen it personally when I when I, I was bowling yeah. on the pair with him. He was the only righty on that pair. I was, he still I was do the his only average. right hander. <laughs> Event. They're just his, like, yo, we need someone. In his, in his defense, he did beat somebody, though. I did beat somebody, did somebody. and I didn't even bowl the last game. I didn't so. bowl the last game, and he still beat him. Of that tournament. So. so I didn't finish last, which is a huge plus, because there's nowhere that I belong in any scratch tournament division thing. I didn't bowl all the games, and I did not finish last. Oh, we all got to okay. have goals, right? Yeah. Well, this is a moral victory for me, all right? In in Because for some reason, okay, this whole year, We've been doing this show, and it's all been about me losing for some reason. And I'm going to take a moral victory on this one, okay? So I'm very proud of what I did at, at Mega Bowl, where I didn't finish last. Yeah, you didn't right? finish last. He needs a hug. <laughs> so, don't touch me. Now, I mean, he, he, might, he might get even more excited right now. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, team. yes, the, the number one team. Let's put the, all right. Put the bullets out in front. Yeah, all right. The, the Hitmen. Yeah. It's the my Hitman. team. Yeah. The they Hitman. Didn't, but in their defense, they didn't win everything. Uh, no. But they haven't lost in the season. No, they haven't. They haven't lost in the season. They have not lost. They still have the heavyweight champion in Bob Benton. It would be that team that obviously would be 
undefeated. We're, I, we're looking, and, and you know, as much as we'd be in the top ten, again, we have to face the other teams that are in the top ten right. now, and and we could take a dive just like everybody else. But again, uh, our, our so. handicap pairs have been where our strength has been over the last couple of matches. Yeah. yeah. We used to be scratch heavy. Now our handicap That's pairs, is, we've added the right people in, in the right spots. Uh, we made some nice moves that, that helped us out. We lost a few key bowlers off that scratch team yeah. that uh, went to the arsenal that is now their scratch team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, hey, you, that, that is UBA. Yeah, I mean, that's and that's what happens. Cheating? That's why you say they're cheating? No, no, they cheated because they only had, they bowled against six people today and they moved their scratch yeah. pair over to their handicap pair. And, and I, they still I, 40 pieces? And they still 40 pieces. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, no, nah, hey, listen, I, you know, it, as we all say, it's all fun and games. Yeah. Right? I try not to be uh, too controversial because it's kind of my job not to be. Right. Um, but when it comes to the, my team, when I'm, to get you to be when, I'm, when I'm wearing this jersey, it's a different ball game. This is, this is where I started. I started in the UBA with this jersey. I never left this jersey. This has always been my team. I told the guy that started this team, Danny Rivera, that when I start, I'm not leaving you. Unless this team goes away, I will be here for as long as I have to be. And shout to Danny, man. We we've been we've been a winning team. For a long time, we've we've had guys come and go, but we've always been on the winning side. We, we, one year, I believe we missed the playoffs by two points, uh, but other than that, we've been in the, the league playoffs every year. Every year, and it so, Regardless of and and teams have come and gone. Uh, uh, the Good Brothers were there for a while. They dropped out. Latino All Stars was in the top. They dropped out. Um, some of these other teams now. You got Class Axe. Class Axe was a team that that was the bottom of the league for a while. Yeah, they didn't really have much. Not and they were in at this, this level, this right? They a added a few teams, out. and yeah. they've gotten themselves in a great position. Yeah. Yep. So as you, you know, you, you, it's easy to relate to some other sports. How you can say all of a sudden that one team now is a big team, right. you know, and, and and they have a chance. So, but <laughs> Tom Twist, yes, leaving a legacy in the UBA. Always. Oh, Definitely. Yeah, From day one, since I met him, always yeah. a class act. Yeah. No, no legacy, not class no. act. Class act. Oh. Act. Class ACT. 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 Not class no, act. We, we don't. We don't go class act here. Danny just. Danny just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Danny just, uh, <laughs> class act. <laughs> Tom, I want to thank you for your time. Guys, it's been, so yeah, it's, it's been great being here. Pleasure. It's been great being here. I, I, I've done some commentary in the past, done some matches and stuff, and I really enjoy it. I enjoy being behind the microphone. Um, and, and one of the things when I took over at this job and I told uh, uh, the CEO at the time, I said, you know, everybody should know who your commissioner is. Everybody should know who's making the final decisions on everything, regardless of whether you agree with them, regardless of whether you like them. I always make the best decisions I can for yes, the UBA. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy right now going back and forth about some things that are... Um, we don't talk about... <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. Yeah. So we, uh, but again, as I said, we, we, we try to make the best decisions uh, right. for the UBA and for everyone as a whole, for the whole group. Exactly. Um, and, 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 uh, and we try, the one thing we try not to do is change things midstream. You always try to keep things the way that they are, and sometimes people find loopholes. Sometimes people find a way to get around the rules, uh, and then you have to wait a full season until next year to close those loopholes, um, close it up, make sure that there's nobody skirting the rules or making. But we're growing just as much as you are. Right. For the, for the most part, you know, I mean, it took the USBC is an organization that's over 100 years old. That's why their rule book is this thick, and that's why we use it because they've been through most of this stuff. Exactly. But. That's just a guide for us. We, we have certain things that are unique to us and unique to our organization, and that'll always be that way. We'll always continue to keep everything as unique as possible. Uh, our culture, the way we plan, you know, the way we do things, the way we run things. Exactly. And I would, we'll never change that because it's never, th there's no reason to, there's no reason now. Yep. Can't copy, can't copy the culture. You can copy, copy the, the format, culture. but you can't copy the culture. Uh -huh. and, you know, there may be.